Hello all, I have uh, Lamplighter's Major Tom. Probably their biggest standout New England style IPA. They do make different styles of IPAs, not all of them are dubbed New England style. And this one is 100% Galaxy Hops. I actually got this the day it was released and I had it and it was pretty good. Um, but it had a kind of almost garlicky um, alium family, oniony type thing, or allium family, I don't know, garlic, onion, scallion, all the same sort of family of plants, and sometimes hops can have that. I usually don't get it from Galaxy, um, but I know that hop bashes can vary wide, widely, and um, also the age and of the hops you're using and things can affect that. Um, so I actually drank it again at a week old and it still had that note. Right now we're at about a week and a half of age, or no, maybe more like, no, I guess about a week, week and a half of age. This is the August 19th batch. It's 7.2% alcohol and all galaxy. I guess that's all you really need to know. Yeah, I haven't been drinking a lot of Lamplighter beers. I really liked their uh, um, cocktail like beer. Was it? I reviewed it recently. It was like so pitted, not so pitted, that's a different one. I don't know, but a, a fruit IPA from them I had, it was really good. Um, so this one is coming in. Oh, medium light haze for the style. I kind of just tipped the can upside down because I've noticed that with their beers, the haze fades quite a bit, but that is looking pretty good. Pretty nice head also. Just a deep orange. A um, little bit golden. And yeah, we, I, I chilled my glass just a little bit, just because it's hot and humid. But the it has some really nice, fine, dense bubbles on there. I'm expecting that to stick around for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it still has a little bit of that garlicky type thing, which I feel like I used to notice more in IPAs. Um, and maybe it just has to do with a lot with the hops. And the hop, how hops have changed over the past year. Some um, brewers have been asking to get hops that have less of that. You know, it almost smells a little bit like the, that kind of dankness that um, Phil Head IPA has, though that one uses no Galaxy hops. And at Galaxy hops, I usually get more of a menthol type greenness. There's a little bit of that, but it's just kind of like dank, sweaty, oniony pineapple, I guess. Which is good in a way, but it just doesn't smell all out juicy. It does smell pretty good though. Pretty pineapple-y and more ripe fruits than I usually get with Galaxy. I usually get more like underripe fruits, but definitely has a big pop. That's Galaxy is, is beloved because it's just a really intense hop. Um, but I'm not sure if all that intensity will be good on the, the taste. Let's see. Hmm. Way, way more menthol, green blast, almost minty in the taste. Has a pretty soft, nice big soft feel for sure. Even though it isn't ultra thick, you know, with an insane amount of haze. And no hot burner bite. Head's still sticking around. Yeah, it's a nice substantial mouthfeel. Doesn't quite make it to the velvety, silky level, but pretty good. And then, yeah, um, it has that galaxy intensity. It's a little bit bitter too. I mean, it's for a New England IPA, it's quite bitter, I would have to say, with like traditional bitterness also, which is kind of weird. They call it a New England IPA. Um, then it, and it's more bitter than most of their other beers, and it's not bitter because of intense, chalky, hot burn, throat burn. At least I'm not really getting that yet. I'll, I'll do some more gulps. That seems like your old-fashioned IBU bitterness from boiled hops. Maybe I'm wrong on here. I didn't really tell you much about it. This full full body mouthfeel and a firm back end bitterness, which I like that in a lot of a lot of these beers. This one might be almost too much, maybe I'll get used to it. 
Is there a lot? A lot of things about this beer that I really like. Appearance is good, the head retention, the body, some some real bitterness in there to balance everything, but just not ultra fruity. Um, there's still some of those garlicky notes, um, and the flavor, it's much bigger on the menthol, and lots of grapefruit pith and that sort of stuff. Yeah, the, the smell has that ripe, sweaty, pineapple sort of thing that almost reminds me of Denali a bit. I like that hop. But it's still super dank and oniony. I wonder if they're just not getting as good quality Galaxy hops at Lamplighter. Um, and it's interesting, I guess I have heard that some people are saying this year's, past year's batch of Galaxy hasn't been as good, but I know it can definitely vary from farm to farm. Um, I assume that there are a lot of different places in Australia growing this hop. Yeah, but there's that garlicky and the menthol, the bitterness. It's keeping me from being able to pick out a lot of different fruity flavors. Just like really bitter white grapefruit pith and unripe cantaloupe or something maybe on, on unripe, not even peach. Um, it's got a lot of things going for it. I feel like if they just got maybe a, a, a better lot of Galaxy, it would, be, it would be better, because um, I don't think, like it doesn't ha have to do with throwing in a, too many dry hops. I'm not getting a hot bag. <laughs> so in terms of ratings, I mean, should get a four, but easily could have been higher in my book. I guess I'll save my last can, um, maybe wait over a month and see if the uh, that garlicky note goes away. Bye bye.